Yo, Snapchat. So as you can see, we've had a pretty big storm in the last couple of days. Um, lots of flooding, uh, trees down, just shit going on everywhere. It's pretty hectic. So let's talk about the future disaster recovery. So I haven't really thought much about this topic, so let's just do this on the fly. Um, so let's talk about firstly like disaster management and kind of preparation for big storms and, and stuff like this. Okay, so how can we use technology to better prepare for storms like this? Um, so one idea is like drones. Drones could actually go out and just like survey the entire area and try and find the, the danger spots. Like imagine if you could just send out like, you know, a couple of thousand drones and they just survey the entire area and they go around and they like examine every single tree and work out which trees might be likely to fall over during a storm. The same drones could use like radar, like uh, ground radar or something like that, where they go and measure the contours of the land and then they could simulate uh, where, where it's likely to flood and how we can fix that. The same drones could get a 3D map of every single building of the entire city um, and kind of look for like structural weak points. So it could simulate, depending on how strong the wind is and which direction it's coming from, what happens then. So that's pretty awesome. Like one technology could help prevent flooding, could help prevent uh, damage from winds and trees falling over. That's really cool. Again, okay, the only other major thing is probably like power outages. Um, because we have you know, power lines and it's a very centralized power grid, it's very easy to go down. Whereas we have decentralized power with solar panels and battery backups, easy. So that's pre-storm preparation. What do you do during the storm? Well, you really need like an accurate map of everything that's going on, where the wind's coming from, where the rain's coming from, you know, what's flooding, what's falling over, everything. So I'm not entirely sure what the SES systems are like at the moment, but I'm pretty sure they're mostly just field calls. So people call in and say, you know, a tree's just fallen down here, can you guys come and help? Or, you know, my roof's just fallen off, can you come and help? So it would be great if they had like an accurate map of everything that's going on in the entire region. Imagine if drones could somehow work out how to fly during the wind and map everything that's happening in the entire region and show it in a real-time dashboard on this. That and crowdsourcing information from all the citizens. Imagine if they could just like send in photos that are actually geotagged, send in comments, send in kind of like really quick little push notifications of where things are going wrong. Okay, so now post-storm, what do you want to do? Well, you want to get back to normal as quickly as possible. I, I, based on what I've seen so far, it's probably going to take them you know, good for four days, I reckon, until everything's back to normal, and that's just too long. So there are still trees down everywhere, and the problem is that we have, you know, the SES volunteer organization, they, they'll go around and cut down the trees, but it'll take them ages. It'd be great if we could, more, we could crowdsource that more quickly so anyone could do that. And then we can employ, the, employ these drones again to go around and survey the area, find all the, the things that need to be fixed, and actually rank them in order of importance. Um, so you can just go down the list and get them done. And imagine if that list was like a crowdsourced kind of outsourcing thing. So imagine uh, the government throws a bit of money at it, and you can basically pick and choose the tasks that you're going to get solved, and you just go and do them, and you get paid for it. So it's probably a few safety and training issues, but imagine if you had a chainsaw and you can see on, a, on the map on this, on this system that it's paying $100, there's a tree down nearby, and you can go do it. You can take that job, take the photo, get it done, and get paid. That same system could actually help coordinate and uh, kind of give a little bit of extra pay towards the tradies who go and fix all the issues. Like, you know, all the window repair people, um, all the carpenters, all the roof builders, stuff like that. Something you could do now is mine social media for every single comment, video, and photo, try and pull out the geotag data, or use visual, visual recognition algorithms to map it to a map of the area to see where everything went wrong. So that's all near-term achievable stuff right now. Uh, with climate change and global warming, storms are going to get more hectic in the future. Maybe we'll end up needing little drones that go around and like just clean everything up for us. So what do you think? Did I miss anything? Snap your thoughts. At future. What's the future of disaster relief and recovery and management? At future. Have a great day, guys. See you later.